So you both go, yeah. you hear Louise Palau, uh, just an inc I knew Louise, he's promoted to glory now. Yeah. What an incredible uh, man and an evangelist. Yes. Okay, tell us what happens. Okay, so we're sitting there and he just preaches the gospel brilliantly. He tells us about this heavenly father who sent his son Jesus Christ to love us, to heal us. And he, he finishes telling us the entire gospel about how Jesus came for one sole purpose was for us, that we may have eternal life and that we may know him and have an intimate loving relationship with him and that Jesus will bring us to the Father. We will be no longer estranged from the Father, not separated anymore. And then he said, would you like to know this Jesus? And I remember him saying, he's knocking on the door of your heart. Are you going to pretend you're not in? He said, I'm going to pray a prayer for you now. And he said, I want you to come down. And he said, if you come down here in front of the, where we are now, onto the, you know, where the, the grass is, he said, you can receive Jesus Christ into your heart right now. He'll come right now. He loves you. He's, he, he wants to forgive you. Well, I mean, I just, I couldn't stand it anymore. I just jumped up. I just, and I wasn't like that at all but I had to get down there, I had to pray this prayer. My eyes were pricked with tears, I, had, I was choked, and I got up and I started to walk towards the front and Paul grabbed hold of my arm, didn't you? Scaredy cat. Yes. Grabbed hold of her arm, I'm not going down there. Well, I said to her, what are you doing? She said, well, I'm doing what he just said. <laughs> I said, great, where am I sleeping tonight? We were living together. We, we were living in sin. So, so what, but he didn't say anything no, about that. It no. was like God had pierced your heart I, about that. Yeah, well, I mean, I knew for some reason, whether it was something I'd heard before yeah. or whatever, no. I just knew what I'd just heard. I know, but it's interesting <laughs> that in those days, yeah. living together was known as living in sin. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So and you said, well, if Fiona's going to go down there, yeah. where am I going to sleep tonight? Where am I sleeping tonight? tonight? Yeah, so I, have I got to go and find a, a hotel or something? So uh, she said, we don't even need to worry about things like that. That will sort itself. We would be mad not to accept this wonderful f future while it's right here in front of us. <clears throat> and I said, great. Well, will you marry me then? <laughs> so you proposed. I proposed to her just in, at in that the moment yeah. when you were going to go down. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then you responded. I. It was almost as if we were looking at each other, and this sort of time was going by, and I was just looking at. at and you know, I'd come from this broken home, and I had decided I'd never, ever in my life get married. Why would I get married? What's the point of it? But I knew I loved this man. But the most important thing, John, is that here we were in the presence of the Lord. Mm. I just heard the gospel. We just heard the gospel. We just heard that if we come to our Lord Jesus, the Father in heaven is going to look after us. Mm. It's going to be different. And suddenly all the fears of what my lovely mum went through and the divorce and the unhappy marriages suddenly just left me. And I thought it's going to be all right. Praise God. And I just looked at Paul and I just went, Yes, 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 I'll marry you. Yes, I'll marry you. So we both burst into tears at that point. And by then, Louise had just begun the prayer, so we, we couldn't move. And we began to pray the prayer to receive Jesus into our hearts right there and then, where we were seated, still up in the bleachers. Um, and we just, we wept with joy. We felt so clean. Mm. When you said, Jesus, come into my heart, fill me, forgive me. I, I turn fully away from this darkness and my selfish way of living and I turn fully to you, Lord. There's just this cleansing that he does, isn't there? And we just left that stadium, tears, laughter. Liberated. Yes. R oh, or as the hymn writer put it, ransomed, healed, healed restored, restored, forgiven. forgiven. Yeah. Who like me, his praise should, should sing. sing. Absolutely. Yeah. It was just the most wonderful thing and we knew we were starting our lives aright. Yes, and we walked out of that stadium and we walked to the place where we were to have dinner with Cliff Richard yeah. and Luis Palau. Yeah. He was oh, there. You, did you know that? No. no. Um, Can you imagine how that felt for us? 
the man who'd brought us the gospel message that night that we just got saved was there. That was so precious to us.